to the um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki event, I met people from all over the world. They were citizens like you are. And they were concerned and invited for different reasons or, or participated because they wanted to. Um, and I think it's really important, the message tonight is that each of us must act, take personal responsibility, and act on some level. We are all heroes. Every one of you are heroes. But you must do something. And if it's a letter, writing a letter, if it's uh, having a ceremony like this every year, it's um, in small ways, in large ways. It doesn't matter. It just means that you do something. I worked at the Lawrence Berkeley Lab and the Lawrence Livermore Lab. And my experience at the Livermore Lab is why I became a citizen scientist. And I saw really gross violations of health and safety, which uh, were intolerable. And one day, I put all of my office supplies in my car, and I drove out the gate, and I dropped off my badge and my beeper. And I never went back. And I think that some of you have heard Dr. Andreas Tupadaka speak, and some of you have heard wonderful Isaac Trot speak. All three of us had the courage to leave um, a, a, an institution conducting activities that we could not support as scientists, as human beings, and um, certainly as parents. Isaac doesn't have children yet, but he will. And, um, and I think that's when my life began. Um, what I'm doing now is very fulfilling. I'm working with citizens and with Native Americans and indigenous people. And in a sense, it's uh, working with indigenous people is symbolic because radiation respects no borders. It's, once it's out of the bottle, it's everywhere. There's no way to control it. And we are increasingly contaminating our world. Um, nuclear weapons. Um, after working at the Livermore Lab and uh, visiting Japan, I realized that much of our national defense is a mixture of science fraud and um, science fraud. Um, <laughs> Oh, and corporate welfare <coughs> driven by missile envy. And at Livermore, I saw outrageous science fraud. Um, I've heard science fraud exposed on television on 60 Minutes when Theodor Postel at M MIT talked about TRW and the, um, the missiles that uh, everything about them is fraudulent. The, the guidance system, the promise of what they can do, and the promise of what they will cost, which is many times more than what the, um, the bill is to begin with. Um, in Japan, I heard countries talking to each other about, uh, uh, oh, Japan is afraid that North Korea is going to use missiles on them. And um, South Korea is afraid that China's going to use missiles on them, and it turned into just uh, missile envy, countries buying into this because of their fear, which is manipulated. Um, it, there are two new really good books, Weapons in Space by Carl Grossman. Uh, becoming informed is really important. All of us should be informed. The internet, uh, Activist organizations, radio, um, and independent media. This is a Maginot line in the sky, international perspectives on ballistic missile defense. I mean, we're paying for this stuff, so you should know about it. And you should speak out, and you should write letters, and you should object to it. Because that is money that should go for education, for welfare programs, for um, many things that we need. We don't need more missiles. We don't need more plutonium in the sky. Um, but if we don't speak out, and if we don't say no, and if we don't act in, in, as individuals and as communities, it will continue happening. Um, I think 
Bush is, um, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> um, and I went to a wonderful speech in uh, Berkeley last Saturday. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Robert, um, what was his name? Bowman. Bowman. Bowman spoke. He was in charge of Star Wars from 1976 to 78. He said, it's a hoax in, in the Friends Church. He just yelled it out. He said, it's an absolute hoax. And what he is doing is working in Congress with Democrats, he called them lily liver Democrats, but convincing them not to support Bush's uh, national defense plan. And what they're hoping to do is to run the clock out on Bush. I think he'll probably be a one-term president. If we elect him again, we're as stupid as he is. <laughs> <laughs> And um, so it's really important for all of us to become active and to write letters to your congressmen, too. Um, they don't answer the emails. I think they just uh, dump them. So write letters and fax letters. And um, talk to your local representatives, but do something. Um, silence is the sanction of the victim. Um, the... Um, I think that radiation is a terribly important issue. I think it's the most important issue of the 21st century. We are contaminating the air, the ground, and the water. I've been working in Nevada on the Yucca Mountain issue with the Native Americans. Any nuclear materials that go into the ground will end up in the groundwater. Um, the link between nuclear weapons, nuclear energy, and nuclear waste must be made. The nuclear energy was introduced in the United States in the 50s so that they could get plutonium out of the nuclear power plant, the spent fuel, to make more nuclear weapons. And the result is nuclear waste, which no one knows what to do with. Um, the depleted uranium, which was used in the Gulf War, is also used in some missiles. It's extremely toxic, it's very radioactive, and essentially it's radioactive forever. Um, you need to write to congressmen and to become informed about that too. Um, as long as we're building nuclear weapons, we're contaminating, continuing to contaminate our environment. Um, I don't want to say a lot more because I think we should float the lantern mm -hmm. and think of the, um, the people who died in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but we are dying too. The lanterns are for us too. And until we stop radiation, war, missile defense, um, nuclear weapons, bombs, um, we're going to continue being the victims. So um, in this 21st century, please take action. Please step out. And there are more scientists like Andreas and Isaac and me. And we need to work with the citizens, all of us together in our government. Thank you very much.